gentlemen, welcome in YouTube. Uh, what you're looking at right here is a Rolex Cosmograph Daytona. And the reference number on this is 116506. This was a uh, 2013 release from Rolex to celebrate Daytona's 50th anniversary. And what they did was they, they made, created a 40 millimeter case with a bezel with the serochrome and it's like a, um, it's a brownish color on it. Sapphire crystal, ice blue dial, and then the hour markers are set in diamonds, right? But this whole watch, the entire watch is platinum and it has the patented Rolex caliber 4130 with a 72 hour power reserve. Now, I will tell you this is being an enthusiast about watches uh, I do like some of the designs of Rolex, and this was the one Rolex that really grabbed my attention from a youth. You know, uh, now the Submariner is cool. Don't get me wrong; I think the Submariner. I mean, of course, I love dive watches, and like dive watches are like one of the most sought-after watches across the planet. I think all of us can agree on that. However, it's something about that chronograph. Now, this watch being what it is, uh, if you can see the price right here, these are the price. This is where the price range, and I've seen on regular. Uh, I found some spots on YouTube and uh, Instagram as well as Google. This watch, if you can't find it, ranges between what a hundred thousand to like a hundred and forty thousand somewhere around there. I did find one that it was like two hundred some thousand dollars on eBay. Uh, don't know what that one is. I don't know if it's signed by anybody. I didn't really research it that much. However, I still love the design of this watch. And I can appreciate its beauty, right? I can appreciate what it stands for. Engineering, great. You know, 72-hour power reserve is amazing. Diamond hour markers, amazing, right? But the reality is, I, me personally, I would never own this watch unless it was gifted to me. I would never seek <laughs> to find this watch or try to work something out to where I can generate that much money to buy that one watch. So... What I did was I found a Suges. Now, let, let's be clear. I didn't even know this watch existed before I bought this watch. I just know um, I was looking on Mark's, Mark's uh, channel, Long Island Watches, right? And he had a watch similar to this, right? And um, I had a chance to go to the wind-up show up in Chicago. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was another watch company that actually had this style of watch, Le Jour, right? And they has a Salita 500, and I picked the watch up, I looked, I said, oh, this watch is amazing, I love that. Again, I had no idea that this Rolex Daytona even existed. So I asked the price, he told me it was like $1,100, and I was like, mm, I don't wanna spend $1,100. So that, I put it on my list, I said, eventually, right? So as I'm going through looking at watches and stuff like this, a uh, buddy of mine hits me up and said, hey, bro, Sue just has a um, a sale going on right now. So I was like, all right, cool. Let me go check this sale out. Now, let's look at the watch that I got for $369. Or should I say, I got an even better price. But we can Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is Suja's right here. This is how it comes packaged. And this right here, top chronometer. If you can see that there are so many similarities, I mean, I haven't had an opportunity to see the Rolex version of this, but based on the pictures, it's like a one-for-one -one copy. And I get it on YouTube. I, I've read the comments. I've looked at what people say when it comes to, you know, companies that are doing these one-for-one -one copies. But I, I have to tell you, if you like this watch, man, I will say go through Suges. Now, this does come with a uh, Dang Dong. Uh, Etta 7750 it wasn't much information on that but it does have a 50 hour power reserve where the Rolex version of this came with a 72 hour power reserve this thing it lights up pretty nice you know it's not the best loom I've ever seen on the watch but it does uh, it, it, it's, it's beautiful and I had to wear the white gloves because this thing is a fingerprint magnet but going through the features you have a sapphire crystal 40 millimeter case and the thing about this, it actually came with a secondary, hold on, I'll show you. It actually came with uh, the option, if you want to see what it's, which on the line, online it says that it has a decorated uh, rotor, it actually comes with a display case bag, which I thought was pretty nice. I've never seen that 
you know, in a, uh, getting to watch. And of course, you have your information stuff here. But as far as the watch is concerned, the one thing you need to know, screw down crown, screw down function pushers, and they work, I mean, like, it's beautiful. It still has the same ice blue dial. So if you were familiar with that uh, Daytona and you're like, man, that's out of reach, this is great. And then, of course, the clasp, you see the suges. So just <laughs> imagine if that had the uh, Rolex crown. Now, that will be the only downfall to this is because this is a homage timepiece. But I think it's, man, nice. And we got to keep in mind, man, like, when you think about it, honestly, these watches, man, like, if you're an enthusiast about collecting and you know that your price, you can't afford that. I haven't seen, I mean, outside of Lejour is $1,100 if you can still find it. But this one's suitable. If that's going to scratch that itch, I'm going to say realistically, man, if you got 100000 go ahead and knock yourself out. But for the rest of you guys, this watch is amazing, in my opinion. So there you have it, the Suges top chronometer, the ETA 7750 done by the Dang Dong whoever that is, <laughs> comes in a decent case, but I would just recommend you go find you a nice little place to put this in. There's plenty of options. I actually leave some options down there, uh, down in the description for you. And uh, yeah. So guys, come back tomorrow. I will have another watch to show you guys. And I think you guys would like tomorrow's watch. It is a, a, a classic. <sighs> All right. Until the next lightning strike, ladies and gentlemen, y'all be blessed.